Hi guys, welcome back to the podcast and you're listening to the Traveling Pants of a Single Mom. And today I have my two co-hosts, Jason Vanderpool and Tasha Dunn. Say hey guys. Yes, yes. What's going on, family? Hey, what's going on? So welcome, welcome. I'm so happy you guys are now a part of this project. I'm excited. Yes. Man, I, I think it's just gone the vibe. Like we're gonna be able to talk and I just I'm just happy to have somebody to talk to actually. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. instead of just talking to the, the phone, like yeah, so so Hey, I wanna thank you for choosing me. Yeah. Aww. I wanna thank you so much for choosing me to to assist you in you know, whatever you need. Mm-hmm. Talk to me, I'm here. Thank you, thank you. I was like, What you wanna be a part of my project? And Tasha yeah. hit me up out yes. the blue. I know. I was like, definitely. I gotta do this. Gotta jump on it. Yeah, when you hit me, me, I was like, that weekend, I was thinking like, dang, I I I wonder if Tasha would want to do it. And when you hit me later on that week asking, I was like, yes. (laughs) Yes, that was perfect. And just to put it out there, out there, guys, I'm not a single mother. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not a single mother, so don't get this twisted right (laughs) now. No, you you fit right in the traveling pants of a single mom. Right. Don't be hating on the names like nah. But so we gonna do this, guys. So let's start right. off, and I guess Tosh, tell the people a little bit about yourself. You know, Jason did the, my skin is black. So let's give uh, our listeners a little idea of who you are. Okay, okay. Well, I'm still kind of mad because I didn't get to have my guest appearance on the show (laughs) before I actually got here. But a lot of you, if you haven't, if you don't know already, me and Tosh met on uh, the, the, the whole documentary of All Because of a Man. And we just clicked ever since then. Um, so basically, you know, our, our vibe was just cool. So, right. You know, we just cool. Now, not to mention that we almost got the same name. You right. Know, but, <laughs> but we both act a fool just alike. So, yeah, I love her. That's like, that's my new sister now. But um, just a little bit about me. What would you like to know? Just, you know, what I mean, like What know? you want the people to know? I mean, what y'all want to know. Basically, you know, of course I am. I am a single mom. Got two kids. Um, originally from New York. So, if anybody from New York, big up Queens. Yeah. Right. You know. But, you know, I'm, I'm Florida people, too. I'm here, you know, Polk County. <laughs> <laughs> but um, just, just you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just a little bit about me. I'm still kind of, you know, evolving right now. Um, what are your likes? What, what do you like to do? What, what, what oh would you gosh. dislike? What do I like to do? Shoot, right now. Why you, why you got to put me on hey. the spot right Come now? Come on, I'm, I'm, we got it. The people got to listen. I'm, 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 trying, I'm, I'm in, the, in the state of evolving right now. So, you know, I'm in ministry. I'm trying to, you know, get into my ministry. I'm, I'm trying to get into my organization, nonprofit organization, just helping mm. other women out there. Right. Um, What's the name of it again? When. It's supposed to be Woman in Need. Okay, okay. okay. Um, so basically I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to get myself out there and just helping people. That's the biggest thing about me right now. So cool. Cool. Mm. And Jason, I know, like I said, you came on, you did all of because of the, um, my skin, my is, skin black. is black. Right, right, However, right. we didn't really get into who you are. So if you want to yeah. give a little synopsis, um, me, I'm, I'm a lover of people. I love all people. I, I just love people. Um, I, I've made it a, um, I've decided at a young age to to study everything about people that look like myself. Right, right, right. Um, I feel like, you know, I have to love me first before I can love anybody else. You know, I have to, in order for me to help somebody else, I got to help me. You know, when you're in the, in the airplane, and um, I just flew to Toronto the other day, um, one of the things that, the, that they said in the, in the um, as we were about to take off, they pulled out the mask. They said, put the mask on yourself first before you... Administer to somebody else. Right, right. You know, so in order for me to help anybody else, I gotta make sure that my house is good. Right, first. right, right, right. That's cool. You know, um, I work for OCPS. I'm a father. Um, I'm married. Mm-hmm. Um, Unfortunately, um, guys, he's off the market. <laughs> <laughs> he's off the market, <laughs> but okay. Yeah, he's off the market. <laughs> yes. Big up to his yeah. wife. <laughs> no, no doubt. He's out. Uh, hey. You don't, you don't have to worry about nothing, man. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but, okay, so that's a little bit about you guys. So, y'all already know who I am. So, um, let's get into it, guys. Right. Let's with some stuff we got going on. And you know what? When you brought out, um, brought up uh, Lover of People, 
Yeah. I was at the hospital the other day with um, Talene. I mean, not Talene, Sky. She had an issue with her foot. And it was these kids in there. And they was acting a donkey. Mm. I think they were Hispanic. And everybody in there was just looking at them like... It, it looked like the parent was the person that was sick. So they had like the teenage daughter there um, looking over like two younger kids. Mm-hmm. And everybody just looking at the kids as they acting a donkey. You know how they sometimes they talk about our people and yeah. say like, you know, we not, you know, we not nice or whatever the things they have, they say about us. Right. Everybody looking at the kids as they acting a donkey. And it's a black family went to the vending machine because yeah. the, the teenage girl could not contain the, the daughter. Like she, she could not contain the, the little girl. Like she just was acting a muck. And the lady went to the vending machine and got her a snack. Oh, wow. And called her over and was like, come here. And the little girl immediately calmed down. She They went with the family and she ate the crackers. And I was looking like, dang. That was such, that was like such a, not not really a good deed, but that was so nice. Because that, I mean, right. you could tell that little teenager, she was going crazy in her, her mind. Like the little girl would not stop. And actually, it was another little boy that was a little younger than a teenager and he took the girl and was like holding her and she was kicking and he was holding her to try to get her to like to just relax right, right, right. and then they just came over and just like hey you, you l- let me give you this you know this snack and that little girl immediately and I was like damn that's like such a good act like it, everybody right. was just like looking at them like super crazy and I felt like so good like you see our people you know what I'm saying we yeah, cool right, like yeah, that yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying right. so and That's just my little story of the day, child. And sometimes I'll be, people just need help sometimes. Yeah. Right, sure. right, right, right. Sure. Yeah, I like that. One day I'm going to do me, like, you know how they do this when they pay for the food at McDonald's and, like, I pay for the person behind me? I ain't, I ain't never no. got paid for it yet. I'm still, listen, I, you know <laughs> what? I'm still waiting for that. But actually, I take that back. You know, shout out to the lady that paid for my Kit Kat. <laughs> At the line, you know, even though I've paid for a couple groceries, I've fed yeah. a couple homeless people. Not that I'm looking back anything for, but you know how you be like, yo, I, you know, I'm buying and stuff. You be like, where, where is it? Where the people at when you need it to be right, done for you? You like, know. So you know, shout out to the lady that paid for my Kit Kat. Right. For me. You know, if I knew she was gonna pay for the Kit Kat, I would have grabbed a couple of the items. But you know, <laughs> right. she was like, she she told me actually that's what somebody did for her. So she was like, I'm gonna pay it for it. Right. You right. You're supposed to. I had to tell her too. I was like, y'all been waiting for my groceries for a long time. Right. Now, my gas. All types of things, but it's, it's all good. Yeah, I heard it's like a, a, a I guess, an ongoing thing. If somebody did it for you, right. you do it for somebody else and right. they go on, but it ain't never but, but, it's but, coming. But watch this, though. Sometimes it comes in different ways, though. You right. And exactly. you might not even ever understand how it came, but it comes. Right, you right. Because the other right. day, I went to go wash my car, and the gate was broken. That joint just went up, and I, I, I was like, well, sir, I, I let him know. I was like, sir, um, I didn't pay. He was like, are right, you good? Just go ahead. It was the end of the night, so he's he not, he not trying to deal with that. He was like, you good. Just go ahead. I was like, all right. Thank you. <laughs> but, yo, what about, um, yo, sock pass say to all my Haitians out there? Mm. Yes, yes, oh, yes. God. Yo, what y'all think about y'all president? I'm not claiming this dude right here. Man. That joint is crazy. Like, for him to come out his face, like, he'd be coming out of his mouth with the yeah. most off-the-wall statement. But people knew that already, though. I mean, people knew that that's how he was going to be. I, I think, though, I think for the people that voted for him, like, when I listen to the speech, I think for the people that voted for him, they feel like what he's saying is right. It's, I feel like they, they, they with him. I think... For the people that's not with him or for him or just right minded, yeah, knows that like, dude, like how like. I, I think I think I think there's there's a lot of people out there that voted for him that are looking at him like, yo, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, I'm not with that. Right. Yeah. But they're not saying nothing though. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying they're not saying that. They're embarrassed. Right. No doubt. Exactly. No doubt. But then there's a lot of people out there who voted for him who what he he's co signing everything that they feel. Mm-hmm. And, and and living in America, I'm not afraid of him. Right. I'm not afraid of no, none of them. I'm not afraid, afraid of none of, them, of nobody. But I feel a ways that there's so many people out there that co sign his words. Like that's how they feel. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm like that that's a lot of people. That's, but that's I a whole don't lot of people. How they, they're, they're racist. Yo, when I woke up the next morning, and heard that 
he won. Like, I don't understand. Like, I yeah, went to my crazy. bed. It was crazy. Free minded, like, yo, yeah. this dude not about to win. Like, how he win the election to be a president? Like, what? What it's made? Crazy. Like, I just still, I feel like, um, what's that thing called? Um, thing I can't even think of the name of it. The New World Order. Uh, yeah. I think it has to do something with that whole New World Order stuff because. At what point was he fit to be the president? No. I thought actually in the campaign that he was going to eventually drop out. It was all just for like publicity. Yeah, you know? shits and giggles. And then when he kept going, I was like, okay, this fool is not. Yeah. He's really? actually keep. He's, he's still in the, he's still in the race. Yeah. And you know, His so popularity it, it, it shocked me yeah. when it was basically down to him and, and, and Hillary. And I'm looking like, all right, we know Hillary. Hillary, even though we really didn't neither, we didn't want neither one of them. But at the end of the day, I'm like Hillary. Yeah. All right, she got this. Oh my God, it was like a nightmare. You, when you know what? Trump. I was a little bit scared. Like you know what? I kind of felt like Trump was gonna win only because when it was down to Hillary and Trump, I felt like the world was not ready. For a female president, I right. feel like I, I just, I just people was being a little biased. Oh no, what you too. think? They was being a little biased too. They was like, look, y'all had your black president, but yeah, yeah that female, female. Yeah, y'all pushing. I mean, I'm ready for female anything. I came from one. Ah, I yes, from one, right? I like that answer. You know what I'm saying? So female, male, it, it, it don't matter. Um, I, I say open for president. I don't know, you know but you about that? Yeah, but okay. at the end of the day, I'm a conspiracy theorist, anyways. <laughs> So I know a lot of y'all out there not gonna agree with me, but to me, a president, all they are is a face. Right. They're the face. There's hands behind the curtains making moves, and the president right, is right, just right, a right. face. That's true. So I mean, at the end of the day, when I, I, I shouldn't even take what Trump says to heart because he had to say that. There's hands behind the curtains working, and he needed, needed to say what he said to get us riled up, to get us to to have us um distracted from what's really going on. In the yeah. I actually heard though a lot of people actually agree with just, even though Trump could be you know an idiot I've actually heard um, even from our people that he may be disliked but he's a real smart businessman oh yeah and that's he why is. a lot he of is. people actually chose him too and it, and it made sense you're thinking all right Hillary female you know start thinking a little emotion we get a little emotional we may not make the right decisions you know I wasn't even really thinking about her I was thinking about Bill still mm. but um. <laughs> People just thought maybe Trump might have a better out, you know, outcome than with her, you know. So no, and he is, you gotta give it up to him. He is a good business. He is a good businessman. But no, damn, we no, just no. we talk about but president. We talking about the that's yeah, yeah, like, this yeah. different. Yeah, like, running the country. That's that's something. That's big. And then big when, when they be saying stuff like on social media and stuff, when they be saying stuff like about bombing and and him, like, what is that no. stuff true? Like, all I know. Is they have, according to them, they got the, the button on, on their desk. <laughs> right. And they're going to piss each other <laughs> off until <laughs> they press that button. Oh, Yo, and now, yeah. mad Koreans got to die, mad Americans got to die because y'all got beef. Right. I'm not dying for nobody, man. Listen, I just need, I mean, is this true? They said originally it was a joke when he was running for president. Like, you know, people like Trump, you know how they be like, um... Jay Z for president, and it was like a joke originally. And then when he went in the campaign, it still was kind of a joke. But then I heard when he started getting like people was taking him serious. That's when he was like, "Oh shoot, they taking me serious." So yeah, I'm really running and really be you know serious I'm about it too. Yeah. But is it true that it was like just a joke, or was he serious from the jump? I thought it was a joke. That, that's how it started <laughs> off. That's how I thought. Man, that's yo. I don't know, but yo, what y'all think about this H and M joint though? Oh my gosh, did you see the response for the mom though? Like, yeah, yeah I saw a response. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Wait, wait did y'all see the other H and M shirt? I don't know how true that one is. The other H and M, the one with the little the, the white little white Indian. kid. No, not the white kid. The Indian kid. Nah. I don't know that, the shirt that's I'm the bomb on it. I don't. I don't. <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off, you know, some people be just going off the hit right, right, right. social media stuff. So I'm like, all right, it is true. 
And then they had the shirt, but when I seen the one with the kid, the cool. Indian kid, and it had the bone going up on it. I don't know. I don't know, I don't I know, said, know if it's true or not, because I seen another one where they had an Asian kid talk about send me nudes. And he, <laughs> he had the noodles, like, with the, um, with the little sticks, and it said, so, I don't know. I think they was playing around after a while, but I don't know if um, they oh, made man. those um, additional shirts. But <laughs> I don't, yo, social media is no joke. If they really didn't make them shirts, I'm telling you, social media ain't nothing to joke with. But the mom response, I kind of figured it though. I kind of figured she was, she was cool with it. Yeah. Obviously, if she had, I mean, I was like, where was the, cause that was my first. My first thought, where was the mother at when this shirt was this? Was she not there? So, the if they yeah. offer you a meal for your son to wear the shirt, sweater, coolest she monkey probably, in the jungle. I, guess what? I don't know. Million. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Million ain't a lot of money. It's not, yeah. but still. Not a lot of money, but. Me just off the principal, Malik is not wearing no. My son's name is Malik. <laughs> 11 years old. Shouts to that kid right there. I'm, he's not wearing it for a million dollars. Coolest monkey in the jungle. Nah. They basically played you. Nah. Like, right. you, you money you ain't not buying me, man. Yeah. That's but what they do to us every day anyway, really. Yeah. Like, you really, if you think about it or not, when we buying all these clothes and stuff yeah. like that, they got these rappers wearing all this stuff, they basically doing the same thing. So you could take that H and M shirt. Why everybody worrying about this H and M shirt, coolest monkey in the jungle? Pretty much. I mean, that's what we look like all day, every day. We're we're wearing wearing we be stuff acting anyway. a donkey. Yeah, pretty, like yeah. how you know, like I said, I don't agree. I seen some videos of people Tearing down the stores. I don't agree. With I that. don't agree with that. Yo, like, didn't, I, didn't you put on Facebook the other day? Um, you what you passed by H and M? Yeah, the, the, the was gates a, was closed. Yeah, the top gate was closed. But <laughs> I don't know. Um, my my homeboy James James he responded to the video on Instagram. It was like um, the top gate was broken. It wouldn't yeah, go right. up. Nah, I'm thinking to myself they that's, they, that's totally yeah. convenient. How would this situation happen? Crazy, and then right? they had a security guard on the first floor. Yeah, no. So you like the security was standing by they the first tell floor. Everybody that, so that right, so they don't, don't look don't yeah, look no, too no, bad. They, they I'm looking that. like yo, they really got the gate closed. They did that on purpose to try to monitor the the, the amount of the, you know, right what's coming in and, going in and out. But I don't agree. But I feel like we need to when we boycott, we need to really boycott and say we're not. Because another video, a dude was like, yo. To the black folks, he was like, "Y'all don't stay mad for long. Just let me know right. when y'all done, so I could go buy this sweater." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, "Yo, unfortunately, that's true. Like we be mad, and then all of a sudden, listen, I ain't gonna lie, because I heard it had eighty percent off. Look, you know, it like, got eighty percent off all day today. I was like, yo, you know, I'm gonna have to put on a like little mask and go up in there and get some outfits, because you know, I love my H and M, but." H and M that was not freaking cool, yo. When I seen it, I was like, wow, they really played us. They they mm-hmm. played us. But you know, but I do like H and M. That kind of sucks. Yeah, they so did. How am I how am I wear anything out of there now? Listen, exactly. You just not like I said, when I was supposed to go on my D C trip, I bought a sweatsuit outfit. I didn't go to D C so I returned it, but I lost the receipt. They gave me a forty dollar store credit. Like what I'm gonna do with it? You know what I'm saying? Look, look, you see, that's what I'm talking about. We need to go to and be serious about it. You gotta eat that. You gotta eat that. I don't know, but that's the thing. Real talk, real talk. I don't even, I even wonder if that was done intentionally. Right. Like, the boy has been modeling, according to his mother, he's taken thousands of pictures um, modeling their clothes. So, like, why, like, all of a sudden, like, why didn't they do that before? Did someone try to play him? Maybe. That could be it. Or maybe they... Maybe it was just... Maybe they just didn't check what they were doing when the picture came out. Right. What you mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, they knew when they made that so shirt. You, they, yeah, yeah, you, you know they made that shirt. That shirt. So Somebody. Someone yeah. had to wear the shirt. But... They just throwing clothes on kids to model it. You know what I'm saying? Nah, so but how it just automatically <laughs> got thrown on the black kids. Yeah, no doubt. But I mean, yo, who who knows? Who knows? At the same time, I don't whether know. it wasn't intentional, they should have checked that joint. But listen, because you know, sure monkey and black person don't put them in the middle. Right, side. exactly. You know like somebody, saying? I had somebody had post on the video saying that um, maybe they wasn't culturally. Like educated now, nah, what we're, we we all live in the same world in the same society. We know what it is, what our culture face and struggle with. How could they not know what world they living in? Yeah, that that wouldn't be controversial. But yo, bathing it used to be popping though. What? Bait. We rocking that. Yo, listen. They why they they should have put it on a, a, another kid. 
Why they gonna put it on the black kid? I mean, he was, he, you know, he was wearing it strong, though. His arms was up, his head was high, like. He was. It was, right? Like, he really felt like he was a cool boy. Yeah, like, but. I don't know. They tried us, though. I think H&M tried it. But you know what? A lot of these high-end celebrities don't like black people. No, they really don't. They really don't. We still be wearing this. And we sure do be rocking it. That's why. Rocking the heck out of it. Look, and I already know you're not going to boycott H&M because you already talking about giving you the $40 gift card. I'll give it to you for $35. I know, y'all. I just cut the tags out of it. I mean, how y'all know who sold the clothes here? There's probably little Chinese people over there. You know they be having them people sewing the clothes together. They just got the material. Listen, I just feel shame. I got... About two, three setters I bought for uh for my DC trip hanging up in there. I feel shame, Come like from H&M? yes. Yo, yo, bun that man. Nah, I can't. You know what I'm saying? I'm so it's kind of tight. I'm so it's kind of tight. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to just um, rock it. You know what I'm saying? I, I bought it before the um before the sweater. You know what I'm saying? So mm. I'm gonna just have to rock it. Mm. You know, I I don't know. I mean, I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna purchase anything. From H and M, but I wasn't a big H and M shopper anyway. I don't love know. H&M. You love yeah. H and M? I used to, but I don't know. I, I went in when I got the forty dollar gift card. I mean, thing. I was trying to find something, some outfits to you know just go ahead and eat up the forty dollars, but I couldn't find nothing. Everything just that's all right. I want to tell you, you can just go ahead and send thirty five dollars, and you can get the forty dollars. Thirty five for forty. Uh, 35 or 40 hey, we, No, we, listen. Just go ahead and give it up. <laughs> Hell no. Nah, that's $40. Hard just earned working money. I'm going to have to... Um, I don't know if they're going to see me in the store. I might just use it online. You know, I already got it. Just go online and just real oh, quick. Lord. Just You know what I'm saying? Just get rid of it real quick. <laughs> well, yo, it's a lesson learned. I, I'm, I'm good. H no won't see any of my, any of my bread. Man. You used to shop in there? I've been in it before. I never purchased. I bought clothes for my son. Oh yeah, well, not, yeah. Not for myself. Yeah, they have nice kids clothes though. They do. Well, all right, but we, you know, oh, what well. I'm saying? Nah, ain't no damn. Oh well, y'all <laughs> over there rubbing your knees about. Oh well, you yeah, see, you. <laughs> this, this is why black people we can't get ahead. <laughs> she over there rubbing her knees about. Yeah. Oh well, <laughs> yeah, Tasha, you gonna be up in that age, you know? <laughs> Man, at the end of the day, when you really think about it, I mean. Anybody out there, and I know probably somebody like, mm-hmm. I know she ain't gonna see what I'm saying, but don't even talk because you're gonna be right up in the Gucci, right up in there running behind Louis, Chanel, and all of them, and, and whoever else, some designers, and they could care less about us, especially us. Actually, actually, they care more about our dollars. They starting to use this now advertisements a lot. Mm-hmm. You see that a lot in the stores now. You see mm-hmm. it in the window, the wrappers and everything. They got the stuff off, but really and truly, is that bread? Is that they, money? Yeah, yeah, it's about the yeah. money. So you know, listen. H&M. So that's why we use that as a weapon, man. We, exactly. We, 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 we yeah. will, we'll hold that. Yeah, right. And yeah. there's a lot of people that advertise their stuff on um, Instagram and stuff. I'm going to start supporting, like, We need different... to support our own. Yeah, that's like, we yeah. If we all actually came together and said, you know, supported what we really trying to do, it would be cool. We could, we, we could do it. Yeah, like, Jason, you said in your um, My Skin is Black episode, and right. you were saying that... um. Um, Circulate our money within our own. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I was. I was like I was telling you that 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 um in the, not an interview. Um, the article that I read a few years ago was just stating that if you can, if you can somehow put the amount of um, money that Black people spend annually in America alone, if you can somehow calculate that into um the size of a country. Mm-hmm. Black America would be the 14th largest largest country in the world. Wow. So our weakness, which is spending, because they say we spend yeah. what we don't even have, right. can, if used properly, can be a strength. Right. Right. So if we, if we, if we, if we, we just withhold that money, or not even just withhold the money, spend it with each other. Right. Right. You know, that that's mad strength right there. Yeah, because that's yeah, my that, that's, that's my strength. goal. I want to start supporting um, our people. Putting the money into us. Definitely. Like I right. said, it's a lot of advertisements that I see on Instagram. Um, like I said, my sister, she's a um, a designer. Um, so y'all can hit her up. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to find. I, I've I've shot out her business before, but J um her her name is Jay Lorraine Boutique. So if you hit her up on Instagram, she do her own um 
you know, designs. It's so many people on Instagram. It's a lot of people. A lot of people. Yeah, actually, I'm actually uh, said I was just going to start supporting a lot of our people and start putting out um, every day something different. Because um, right. I know so many different people that have right. uh, businesses and things they're trying to do. And I'm like, why not we just, you know, get it out and support our own? That's shoot, mm. that'll keep a lot of us out of jail. For real. You know? And a lot of people out here hustling now. Like, people, people are out here hustling, trying to, you know, create their business right. and, you know, start, like, so much things that's going on. I'm so proud of our people because everybody out here got a different hustle. Right, right. Doing something. So, I mean, like I said, like, most of my Instagram is somebody advertising yeah. some type of business, some type of brand that they got going on. You know, jewelry, bathing suits, the fashion design, everything. I'm like, yo, we out here trying to make it. Mm-hmm. So, yo, this t shirt I have on right now, this is from Instagram. Oh, it is? What it say? I, oh, Malcolm Betty taught me. Malcolm and Betty taught me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I can't remember. I got, I'm going to shout you out another time, but I can't remember the, um, the Instagram dude's name, man. You see me over here trying to get Instagram together, but my my um I'm on the wrong account, so I, I'm trying to shout out people I can't even get to the right account. <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> but yeah, we need to we need to start supporting our people more, cause they out here trying to do big things. Yeah. And like they be saying, I be seeing people post like, "Yo, don't ask me for no dissy." And we're good for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you like, yo, let me get a discount. Yo, we, 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 discount. We, we, we good for that. People like, how we going to eat? Nah, you yeah, can't we, eat if yeah. you don't support each other. Right. right. You don't go on walmart.com and be like, yo, can I get a discount? I ain't even going to lie, though, because one of my friends got a restaurant, and I swear every time I go, I'm like, yo, come on. <laughs> <laughs> come on, you knew me for a long time. You ain't going to give me a plate, you know? Come on, a free plate. They're looking at me like, well, dang, how am I going to keep the lights on? You know, so, you know. I mean, a little percentage off won't hurt. hurt. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we need to stop. But yo, when we, when we go to everybody else, we pay full price. Exactly. Right? Yup. We go mm-hmm. to Cheesecake, wherever we go, we can't ask for no discount. I mean, yeah. I, still, I still still push it, though, and ask sometimes. I be like, yo, so, sir, I can't, um, <laughs> <laughs> I can't get your, um, discount. Y'all mm-hmm. add that to your New Year's resolution. Do not ask your own people for a discount this year, okay? Everybody stay with them so we can all eat. Right. You that, hear that? That, that includes me. Right. That you hear it. That, 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 that. So, you know, shout out to my homie, uh, uh, Leon Ramsey. He got the Caribbean Cafe. I'm going to try not to get no more free plates. Wait, where's that? Over there. Actually, that's over in Daytona. Okay. Um, it's off of, I believe it's, it's called Belleville, Belleville or Beauville Road. Okay. Um, food is real good. So, you definitely want to, if you're in Daytona, anybody, you know, hit, hit up Caribbean Cafe. All right. Got some good, good, good food. I'm telling you that rice. You don't even need the meat. The rice itself, that rice and peas, boy. Really? That, yo, the rice and peas is just. I could just eat it by itself all day. Man, I'm definitely looking for a good Caribbean spot. But I haven't found one like that. I just feel like I'm crazy about. I did what one time a long time ago. I can't even remember where. That place was, but I don't know. I think they got new owners, so the food don't taste the same. Yeah, they be changing them chefs. Sometimes. Yeah, when they change up the chefs and stuff, everybody be thinking that they could be a cook. Everybody's not Somebody fit. Somebody came over there and told me food good. Yeah, like, but everybody's not fit. Can't open up a and I need people to stop lying to people. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. That New Year's resolution too. No lying to nobody. That's that be the thing. That includes myself as well. I so I so 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 we 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 talking about cooking right now. (laughs) Let's not talk about cooking. Right. Let let, I I want to ask y'all a question real quick, and I know we jumping off. Is okay for me? No, we go. Let's go. Listen, yes. All right. Y'all two is single, black, young, beautiful Mm -hmm. woman, right? Tash, you cook. Um, why, see, why you gotta put I'm, like, yeah, saying, I'm you, just asking. I'm just asking I mean, a question. Okay, can, look, can I know you cook? how yes, to no. cook. <laughs> like, like bun water. Or like, I could, no, no, no. Like, what, what, kind of, what kind of cook you talking about? I know how to cook, but I, I do like the easy, the easy come up. Chicken right. penne pasta, right. crock pot dish. I got it yeah. all day. You know what I'm saying? All right. So if I ask you, yo, Tosh, I want some um ackee and saltfish. You know, what I you can want? do you that. I can do you that. I can do you ackee, right. but as long as the yeah. um it's in the can, in the can. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> long as it's in the can, I got yeah. you. Right. I got right. you. I can knead flour. <laughs> I know how to cut the yum, peel it or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the banana, I know how to cut off the two top tips yeah. and slide down the middle. You Yo, know, put the shoot, little slit down. Me. Oh, yeah, I know how to cook. But I don't like, like, I don't like cooking. I don't, I don't know why. It's like, once I start cooking, I be in that vibe like, damn, son, I could do this every day. Like, why you don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, I, I I feel it when I'm doing it, but just to have to do it, I just, I can't. Like, right, but look, I don't look, know. Look, 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 Tasha done over there. I quiet. Knew was gonna she's quiet. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to hear what she about to say. She quiet over there. <laughs> um, See, you know, Tasha, you do a little bit more because I don't know about the cutting off the tips and all of that in the can. And listen, for my future husband, whoever he is out there, Y'all need to learn how to cook. Y'all need to make sure you cook. <laughs> 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 if not, you might have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. No, no actually, I'm not that bad. I, you know what I'm saying? I could do a little brown stew, you know, a little curry. Right. Yeah. Don't ask for no oxtail. I ain't on that yet. Um, you know, might be able to, to, to fry you a plantain or two. If, if that's if you come out the freezer section from Walmart. Because you know the Walmart got the pre pit the prepared ones that's already halfway cooked. I'll fry those for you. Don't ask me to fry the actual one up. Yeah. Um, but... You know, I'm I'm working on it this year. I really, you know, I got everything else down packed. I got to work on that part because I'm really, I'm like Tosh. I'm really not, I don't really like to be in the kitchen. Yeah. And now, you know what? I can't really blame my mom for that because she worked hard. You know, she was mm-hmm. a working woman. She, you know, a nurse, had that, that seven, seven shifts. Yeah. So my grandmother did all the cooking. Right. So a lot of you out there, I don't know if you know, my, my family's from the islands. They're from Jamaica. So my grandmother was there. She basically helped raise us and she did all the cooking so when she cooked ain't nobody trying to intervene in that we just right. waiting at the table like <laughs> ready mama where is the food right yeah. was right like ain't yeah. exactly right and that's, that's the same thing there. with me my mom do yeah, we she used to, to lay it down you know, you know sunday dinner you know you got two meats you know a caribbean household on sunday dinner you got two meats on the oxtail and barbecue chicken Yo. you know steak you know sunday just was with that brown stew you know what yeah, I'm brown, brown stew or beef know? It's always two meat. I know Jason don't eat meat, but boy, I'm telling you, yeah, Sunday. I'm a vegetarian over here. Nah, yeah, but I'll be killing it. I'll be tearing it down them oxtails, brown stool. Yes. But I will say, let me put it on record. If you're putting it down right, you might have me in the kitchen every day. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> she talking to the kitchen. Let me tell y'all, now that yeah. changes things. Yeah, that motivation changes things. Yeah, you know what right. I'm saying? So right. I can definitely say. If you're laying it down look at that, look at right, that. I'll probably be up in that kitchen like, babe, what you say you want it? All right, so I that- still, all right, let me call my mother, ma. So I'm finna, um, <laughs> I'm finna FaceTime you real quick. I'm trying to cook this oxtail. To you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, ma, I'm FaceTime you. Can you help me do the oxtail? Because I'm telling you what she was about to say. Now I was just saying, so in order for... For my wife to put it to um to cook every night, I gotta put it down right. Late, late. So wait, wait. So so the, so, is, so, let, like, so let me so let me tell you this. My wife is a monster in the kitchen, yo. Wow. So I must be doing something correct. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So she's a monster. All right. Hey, All right. hey, Tisa, I'm shouting you up right now. You 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 a monster. Okay, Tisa, we might you, need some you lessons. You teach me right. Exactly. We need some lessons because we still I'm need. So so, so my wife, she American. Mm-hmm. She be cooking the American dish. She 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 don't only she don't only American woman I ever dated before. Mm. Um, she cooks she cooks American food, but yo know, she make Trini food mm. and she make it well. Like my grandmother, she we we eat um Callaloo. Callaloo, our Callaloo is different from Jamaican Callaloo. Okay. It is. Yeah. How? It's different. It's it's more soupy. Is um is is um blended with okra and all, all kind of different oh, stuff. Oh yeah, y'all make it different. Okay. And um, I always said my grandmother's kalu is the only kalu I, I eat. I don't eat my mother's kalu. I don't eat my my aunt's kalu. Only my grandmother. My grandmother died like two years ago. Mhm. So I said, yo, I'm done. I'm never eating kalu again. Yo, my wife made it. It tastes just like my grandmother the wow. So, so I, you, I, I didn't give you her taught props. her, or she already knew? She 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 spent a lot of time in the kitchen with, with my mother. Oh, okay. And pick up you know things here and there, and you know so she and then she when we went to Trinidad she bought um we bought back a cookbook and she she be in that cookbook like trying to learn how to make 
Wow. Korean see, see, that's kind not, of stuff. That's that's that motivation. She got that, that, she got that motivation. Oh. She got that motivation because maybe if I now if I had that motivation, maybe. So what would I be said? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I'm doing something right over there. You doing something right here? That she got, she got the she watching the moms. You see when you doing that, trying to get in on the uh the recipes. Yeah, you doing something right because that's how I be like, oh babe, so you like the uh, oxtail cook a certain way? Your moms know how to do it. <laughs> All right, let me come on, let me let me come over and watch mom, so I can learn how to do this the right way. <laughs> so you must be doing something right, Jenny. But you in a home cook meal? I cook too. Okay, what you be what you be cooking? Cook. You be burning water? No, nah, I cook whatever, anything. anything. You you a vegan? My, so my, a my, veggie, my, a vegetarian. My, my, you know how to cook meat? Meaty nah, I so so I don't cook meat. I, I've never cooked meat before. Oh wow! No, no, I've cooked meat before. I ain't eat it, so I don't know how it tastes. You got something on your face. <laughs> All right, well, you got it. You good? Yeah, <laughs> the way it's still there. <laughs> but I could um, I could I could throw down though. Okay, you could throw down. So at my job, we had a contest last year. Mm -hmm. Um, everyone bring the best dish. Mm -hmm. So mad people bring in um fried chicken, all kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, me, they laughing at me because I'm vegetarian. They're like, yo, right. they call me V at work. Yo, V, what you what you bringing to work? Some some kind of vegetarian, whatever. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to bring you. Y'all going to like it too. Yo, I ended up winning the contest. You did? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what you made? I made a, um, I invented oh. when I was in college. You know, in college, you poor. So I invented this real cheap dish. Um, I, call, I call it a, a, a um, vegan stir fry. A vegetarian stuff, right? <laughs> Yo, it got vegetarian meat and all that. Yo, it tastes mad. Everyone that has ever eaten it, love it. I'm gonna make some for y'all. Yeah, you gonna have to make some and bring it Just in so we can no so we can be. Not, um, no, no, so oh, yeah. my asshole. Y'all yeah. see them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so can. let me let me let me check though. Let me you check. Can. Let me check. You have to figure out another way. <laughs> you know, I eat soy, so I'm. Can I'm you down. eat um grillers, morning star grillers? I can't stand morning star, y'all. But that got um soy in it. I don't know. That stuff just be just all forward to me, but I ain't even know what the heck is a morning star. The brand. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, it's a brand from um from Walmart. Uh, I don't know. None. I have never eaten anything vegan or vegetarian. Anything soy, whatever. The, I never had anything. Well, I got you. The only thing I've had was um lasagna. My aunt make it, but she make it with the vegetables instead of the meat. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. And that's it. But yeah. it, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never had all that extra stuff y'all be talking about. I got to do better with my diet, though. Because I'm a poor eater. I just eat anything because I feel like I'm skinny. So I I just, just eat whatever. Get away with yeah, like I just eat whatever. But I, I, I feel like I got to eat better because sometimes when I eat better, I can feel a difference in my body. But. I just don't be caring. Talking about that cooking, though, back to that, because we, you know, back on the single, you know what I'm saying? Since you the guy here, mm -hmm. Jason, tell us what, besides right. the cooking, because I know cook, I, I mean, I'm sure there's some married females out there that don't, they don't cook. touch the kitchen right, at right, all. Right. And, you know, they got some good hubbies. So, you know, any, you know, any little tips you can give us, you know, since you the married man here? Any right. tips <laughs> about cooking or just in, in general? general. Just in, in general. general. For all the single ladies out there, y'all better be listening. <clears throat> Man, honestly and truly, I wouldn't put that on y'all. Um, the trend that I'm seeing, I, I think a lot of us as men, especially black men, we um, I think we have to to take responsibility for our queens being single. Um, if you look at what's going on, a lot of us are locked up. You know, we're in jail for you know a plethora of reasons. Um, some a lot of us are innocent. Some of us deserve to be there, but there's reasons why we did it, um, and that's a whole nother conversation. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at demographically, um, so a, a lot of us men are we're not doing what, we, what we're supposed to be doing, right? So I have a lot of friends. They are um, educated. One of my good friends. Very educated young lady. Um, beautiful sister. There's no reason why she had to be single. She's single. She was single for years. Couldn't find no dude. Um, and I'm getting married. Married a white guy. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Mm. Because she said black dudes don't approach her. No mm. black dude ever approaches her. Now, this is a girl. She make about like 
three, four hundred thousand a year. Wow. wow. Can't, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know, where, 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 where the, where the men at? She couldn't find one. You know, um, if you look at in in high education right now, the largest demographic in high, high education is black women. Mm-hmm. But what what are, what are we doing? You know what I'm saying? What are we doing? We right. be getting locked up. You know, we we're doing things um, that is not preparing us to 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 have a queen. Right. You know, so I wouldn't put that on, 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 on the women. I, I put that on us. Now that's not everybody. Right, like right, some, right. some, some women out there need to step up their game as well. You know, um, I just think that I, I just feel like us as as men, we we just need to do better. Because there's a lot of single beautiful women out there. Right. And sometimes when I see, when, like I have a good relationship with my with my wife, I'm like, yo, like. Oh, she's a beautiful girl. Like, why is she single? Like, I met. Um, we had a meeting with one of her friends yesterday, and I was like, "Yo, I want to. I want to hook up with, with my man, but I'm not sure if my man is even ready for that right now." Wait, where my hookup though? <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, where my hookup? Wait, y'all might have a cousin for you, man. Oh wait, where he at? Uh, he in, in New York. What am I doing? Keep going, keep going. You know what? Distance love. Yeah, so so I I wouldn't put all of that on on y'all, man. Honestly, I just think we need to step our games up. Um, I would say that I do say it feel like though too. Like you said, women got to step up our games. Like I I feel like a lot of us are hurt out here in these city streets, mm. um, damaged and just emotional, you know, and. I think, cause I, I've I've been that, you know, mm. and I think that's not a healthy way to to start relationships. Like when you, especially the mainly when you don't know who you are, mm. like coming out. I'm I'm in that field or that place right now where I'm trying to figure out who I am, what I like, what I want to do. But when I was in a space where I didn't care about those things, like it was like I don't care about that. Like what, what, what do you mean? Like when, when you, when, when, when you, you say are. that, what are you what are you talking about? Like getting to know who you are, like knowing that solitude of being with self and being okay. comfortable right. with being with self okay. and knowing who you are as a person and not feeling like other people have to validate. Right. Who you are, you being with a guy validates your happiness. Like, okay, I'm not dating, so I'm not happy. Like, now coming to a space where I, I'm kind of on that journey of like figuring it out, I realized how good it is to be level headed when dating. Because if you're not level headed, it, it, it's like you get too emotional and, you know, cause things to happen you know, conversations or actions, that's not even, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't even time for those feelings. But you go into stuff needing, like you're feeding off of other people, like you need that love, you need that, so you you go into stuff like, okay, you need it, and then you're not taking your time, you know what I'm saying? To get to know Mm. who that person is, Mm. or you're wanting so much from that person off rip, you know, that you just pulling, pulling, pulling from that person. So... Jumping in head first. Oh yeah, jumping in head first. Oh, and I, you know what I think too. I think some people feel like dating multiple people is wrong. I, you know, I'm coming to a space where I feel like I've been that person that put all my eggs in one basket, and then when the egg break, I'm devastated because mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Because I put everything into that one right. person. Mm. But I'm a firm believer, like, I'm starting to believe, like, you could just date. Date doesn't mean sleep with each person you're dating. Exactly. Date means you getting to know different people. That's what I tell people. That's my definition of dating. A lot of people like, well, dating for them is, like, actually going out. For me, dating is, like, literally meeting different people, having conversations, maybe the lunch here and there. Right. For me, relationship terms, that's totally different. Different, I'm right. now, me and that person is actually... On one on one, on right. one accord, we you know we feel each other a little bit more, so we may hang out a little bit more. That's different for me because I relationship, date, right? You know, I did, now I'm on this thing. Now if I talk to somebody for five to ten, fifteen minutes, maybe I'm like, I can already tell whether or not 
you into I'm them like, or yeah, not. We ain't even we ain't even gonna go any further because this ain't even gonna work. Yeah, know? most times you can most times you can see from the beginning of the conversation whether or not that's somebody you wanna deal with because it's always something that's said. So what 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 is it that would deter you? What is this, what was something that you see in that short space of time that lets you know yeah and they for like for like me, for instance, it's like, okay, so I'm going into my whole ministry, um, you know, learning more about you know, religion wise, just and I'm on a path where I'm just trying to stay just basically like one hundred on that path. Mm-hmm. Five years ago, maybe me and somebody else would have been hanging, you know, but the stuff you want to do, maybe partying, hanging out. Right. We talk about that a little bit, you know, the right. drinking. Mm-hmm. I'm not into all of that. So, not saying, and I'm not knocking that person. Right. You know, but I know what's best for me and what's going to be healthy for me. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's just like somebody being a, a, a recovered drug addict. Right, right. But not saying your friends are drug addicts, but they might want to go out in a space where there may be drugs available and you just don't need to be there. Right. So, for me... I don't need to be in, you know, too many parties, clubs, the smoking, the drinking. When they start talking about all of that, I'm like, okay, I asked a couple of the first questions. You drink? You smoke? smoke? Right. Yeah, occasionally. Yeah, you know, occasionally. All right, you go to church. Cause, and I'm, some people are like, nah, and that's new too now. People, everybody, like, I don't do the church thing. Right. I'm yeah. more religious more than I'm into God. Yes, I've met. Um, I'm just meeting so many people. Yes. On that. And it's nothing, you know, it's... it's more power to those people who not you know I'm not again knocking what what they believe because right. at the end of the day we have to is what who who am I to say what the next person should believe right in. right right but I know what works for me what keeps me healthy so I can't be with somebody else that's talking about Allah or whatever else when I'm on over here you know right. suppose we do have a family down the road and you know for instance I met this this one guy and um I'm sure he know who he is you know whatever. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, you know, he was on that where he wasn't really into religion. And we, we first started chill, talking on the phone, you right. know. Um, he was like, I'm going to respect your wishes and I, re- you know, respect, respect right, right. yours. Okay, cool. I, I knew it was going to work, though, because I'm like, look, I'm over here with God and the church and everything. Right. And you over here with what you believe. I don't want to knock your stuff. You ain't going to knock mine. Yo, conversations could never last more because it was always an argument. And it just, it, it was just, it was just take it to the top about simple right. things. And the, I think the last thing did it for me. Is when we had um, an argument. It had to do with like Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff. You know, a lot of people don't really believe in Christmas. Right, right. And he just felt the need to always come hard at me because he felt like you're a Christian, so right. I was gonna be hitting you with stuff. So it was like the last conversation was like, "Yo, I don't see why y'all people." And I'm like, "What's all this? Always y'all? Right. Like you dressing y'all? Like you talking to me? Talk to me? Well, y'all, you know, you you ought to be a Christian, but you know, you Christmas and all this." I said, "Listen, to each his own. At the end of the day, for me." It's a family day. I'm celebrating my family, you know, and I'm not knocking you. Whatever, you know, right. the, better believe everybody's educated on what you know the day, what Christmas really means. And yeah, it's a pagan. Most people look at it like it's, it's shopping and all of that. But for me, it's a family day. Right. But see, I just use that as an example that how we would be a family anyway. Because here it is, I'm, I'm raised celebrating that. Right. Now I got to change. You know. Yeah. You what if we have a kid? Right. What are we gonna say to the kid? You gonna be like, nah, I don't want him. And then I'm over here celebrating. So things like that, I already know it ain't gonna, gonna work. work. Right. Let's just let it be. Mm-hmm. Let's be friends. Maybe we can have, you know, sandwich hand there, but it's not it. gonna work. Certain yeah. things just need to. You see it up front, mm-hmm. and then some of these people wonder why they're in relationships and marriages, and they crumble because you already seen the, the first, first five, yeah. 10, 15 minutes. What the red flags were. I think, like I said in another episode, I think we overlook it. Like, like I said, if a dude smoke, I already know. I don't, I don't like, I don't like that. And so to answer your question too, on my end, that's like one of the things off rip. Yeah. Or yeah, I smoke. Yeah, I smoke cigarettes. That's a turn off. And then you mess with somebody that smoke and you continue to go and then you get serious. And you're trying to change, like, yo, can you, you you think you can change them? You can't. You think you can change them? Like, yo, can you stop smoking? I mean, not saying that <clears throat> it's been instances where you can get somebody that, you know, dating, like, yo, right. you know, stop. But you can't go into it thinking that that's going to happen. That can't be the expectation. Not in reverse. You may meet somebody, let's just say, not knocking people out there that smoke or drink. You may, actually, somebody may need you to help them stop that they mm-hmm. may you know to me that's different if somebody comes to me like yo this is what i want to learn more about god i want to go to church okay that's, that's, that's different. different right right because right, right. we we came into we agreed on but right, somebody right, saying right. already up front 
I ain't trying to do that. Okay, cool. You know, all right. I got to respect that with you. Respect mine. We keep it moving. We already know it ain't going to work. So those are some of my little, mm. my little things, you know. Yeah, to see. Okay. But we, we got to understand, though, that we can't, ladies, we can't change people. Sure if you can. see something you don't like from jump, we got to take it for what it is. What did they find, though? <laughs> That be the problem. That be the it problem. They be fine though. and lay in the oh pipe. My God. And then once they find and lay in the pipe, then we, we lose Jesus. Help the me. reality. The reality is this man don't fit the criteria. But why would he try to make it fit though? And that's, a, that, that's, that's the thing. To make that's it a fit. feeling. Those are feelings. Those yeah. are feelings. And when it like comes to me. relationships, man, um we a lot of times we allow feelings to blind us. Mm-hmm. And so we blind to every all the all the red flags. We blind, you know what I'm saying? I, they always say a person when a person shows you who they are, believe them. Right, and that's what we do. So we be bl- blinding ourselves because right. th- th- those feelings are, are, are blinding us. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. at, at what point did you know that your wife was gonna be your wife? That yeah, because you know I I've heard people say that guys know they know. Who they're who they gonna wife like they know okay that's my wife at what point did you know that Tisa was your wife? Um, I remember growing up I couldn't wait to get out of my mom's house I wanted to do my own thing be my own man like all young men want to do mm-hmm. and she always told me Jason when you go out on your own you are gonna come r- running right back because it's, it's hard out there I'm like ma you, you, please I'm never coming back to your house right. <laughs> In a sense, I did, because my wife is like just like my mom's. Wow. So in a sense, the, but at the same time, the woman I've I've, I've ever chose to like mm-hmm. or have feelings for, there was they, I saw a lot of my mom in in them. Mm. You know, so in a sense, I I did run, kind of run back to her because, um, my wife is just like my mother. And I know you talk about that as the Opedius complex or whatever, but um. But it, it's it's that's, that stuff is true. You know, we we are attracted to people like our opposite sex parent. Right, right. You know, and so I saw those attributes in her, and and, and I, I. So that was that like an off rip? Did it take like a, a, you know, months for you to realize that? Um, you know, I think I realized that within the first few weeks. Wow. See what I'm saying? I know they, they know. They know. But. But we you know we we had some issues and we ended up breaking up for for a minute and then I thought we was done we was we was done. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's when I um I, I just moved here to Orlando. We we were we were done. Um and then you know we eventually ended up getting back together, but it was very unexpected. I, mm-hmm. You know I didn't at that point I thought I didn't think we were gonna we're ever together. get back together. Mm-hmm. You know, but but we did. That's what's up. So we've been together you know ever since. That's what's up. Yeah, cause. I hear a lot of, uh, I've watched some YouTube videos where guys are saying, like, they know who they're going to wife. Like, they they know, like, okay, you know what, she's banging material. I'm going to bang her, but I'm not going to wife her. And then they know, like, okay, she's wifey material or, you know what I'm saying, like... They, y'all kind of have an idea. Of course, you might think that somebody's wifey material, but something may go wrong along the way. But they have that idea in their head, like, yeah, she's somebody I could wife, versus yeah. she's somebody I'm just interested in boning and, and moving it moving forward. I'm gonna get me a T-shirt that say, "Listen, if you ain't coming over here to wife me, please do not come over here." <laughs> this, I'm about to get me a T-shirt so they so this way they just keep it moving because I swear. Tasha, you a damn fool. So we getting close to our hour, and we made it through our first session, sure guys. Right. How y'all feel? Y'all feel great. Good. Y'all like Good. it? Y'all I like great. it. I like the vibe. I like the conversation. How y'all feel out there? Yes. yes. Let us feedback. know. We need feedback. We got feedback um today uh, about the co-host that people were interest um excited about it, and then I got feedback about topics that wanted to be discussed. So please. Give us feedback. Um, the traveling pants of a single mom at gmail.com or on Instagram, the traveling pants of a single mom. So I'm gonna start promoting my page with my two co hosts. I am excited to have them on, and I'm just I can't I can't wait to see how this the, the whole podcast change and how it grows and how the 
you know, the world take us in. Um, so, yes, let us know anything y'all want to know. Um, what we need to try to do, like we talk about black owned business each time, each week, we need to try to shout out a no different doubt. um yes, business. No doubt. No doubt. So I'm gonna go ahead and shout out my home girl that did my braids. Um, she have an Instagram, I underscore have underscore no underscore idea. So I underscore have h a v e underscore no n o underscore idea i d e e r. She hooked up my uh, box braids. So, um, if anybody looking for box braids, check out her Instagram page and see how you like her work. Um, but yeah, so thanks for listening. We love you guys and I can't wait to hear your feedback. Say bye y'all. All right, family. Peace. Peace out. Peace. Till next time. Yeah.